What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys an update on some changes I made to my mining setup on an AMD card. So if you have an AMD card specifically, this will be helpful to you. And I don't do any major driver changes. So um, this is especially helpful for those who wanna keep gaming and don't wanna install specific mining drivers. Um, this is a way we can do that. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. Uh, if you wanna click on that sub button for more tips, tricks, and tech videos like this, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, in uh, Cryptex, the important thing is I like to run in Pro Mode. So let's go ahead and turn on Pro Mode and take a look here. And uh, one important aspect that I didn't realize was as important as it really was is when you run your benchmark, turn everything else on your computer off. No games, no video running on the side. Don't even use it for browsing. Just let it run the benchmark so you can get the highest possible um, benchmark and algorithms available. And then based on those, turn all the ones without exclamation points on, and um, you'll, you'll be pretty set there. There's also compute mode. Make sure to switch this to on. That way when you exit the app, it turns uh, compute mode off and goes back to your gaming mode. Um, so aside from that, um, the major change I did was to my um, clocking setup. So let's go ahead and open up um, Radeon software. And um, essentially what I did is I upped the VRAM tuning to speed it up, and I lowered the max frequency in my GPU tuning. So this is essentially under clocking and under bolting slightly. Um, if we go into advanced controls, we can see that we're only allowing up to um, 974. Some people have it even lower. I find that it causes some instability on my system if I have it too low, so I keep it at 974. Um, and then I give it a nice 15% lower, which turns out to be 1733. Um, and I don't even use advanced control. I just drop it down to minus 15%. And you can adjust this to maybe minus 20 or minus 10, depending on what your um, results you know, are when you try um, your mining benchmarks. Um, but this has worked out really, really well for me. And for frequency, I put it at 105% to keep it at just slightly above 1800 megahertz. Um, we can go to advanced and set that manually. If we set it to 1800, it'll um, be just slightly under 1800. Um, and then if we use the percentage, we can actually choose a percentage over however we'd like. Um, so yeah, I keep it at 105% max frequency and minus 15% max frequency in the GPU tuning. And after doing that, my mining has gone up substantially. We can go into our desktop here and we can see that we're at 47 here, but I've honestly seen 55 when I'm using it very normally. Um, let's go to our charts and check out our um, GPU mining. And you'll see before I was at 35, and now I'm at 52.3 pretty steadily when I'm using that mode. So it's quite the jump uh, making these changes. But yeah, um, this is probably the easiest way to increase your mining efficiency without affecting gaming. Because what you can do is when you want a game, you just open this back up and turn these two off and you're back to gaming at full speed. And then when you wanna go back to mining, you just turn these back on and make sure your settings are still correct and apply changes. And that's about all there is to it. Uh, let me know if this video helped you out and uh, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna try Cryptex, click on that link below. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? <laughs> I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.